Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and this is Beautiful You Wig Reviews. I'm so glad that you're here today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell and then you'll never miss any of my wig related videos. I'm bringing you this review today for PinkyPromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you will get a code for 30% off. You can also email support at PinkyPromise.com if you ever have any wig related questions. So today I'm bringing you a review for this really cute shorter style. I've been bringing you these reviews for these long, you know, 22, 23 inch uh, wigs. This is the Kushu Kumana in the 18 inch. And I'm really loving this length. It's very wearable, very, very pretty. So this is Kushu Kumana 18 inch in Bombshell Blonde by Belle Tress. I'll have more on her in just a minute. All right, let's get started talking about this Kushu Kumana 18 inch length in Bombshell Blonde. Very, very light, bright blonde that we'll get into in just a few minutes. So, uh, Kushi Kumana, like I said, this is the 18 inch length. So this is, she's much more manageable, in my opinion, than the 23 inch. Some people really like the really, really long, you know, 23 inch. I kind of prefer more of a medium length wig personally for everyday wear. I just think it's, you know, it's just easier to manage and everything. So, so I'll tell you her measurements in just a minute. I'll go ahead and do a spin so you can see her all the way around. Then we'll look at her lace front and all that kind of stuff. So, but like I said, I really like this layering. It's very pretty, you know, just, you got one layer, that little longer, a little longer, you know, tapers around the face, looks really, really pretty and makes her really pretty for, you know, putting her up and styling her. So here's my left hand side. The back. My right. And back to the front. So she's really pretty. She looks like you are just a styling, a flat iron pro. <laughs> which I think is really, really cool. Of course, she's heat friendly, so you could go in and you could add some waves if that's what you want to do with her. So, but I like this just straight as a board, you know, straight uh, ends. The ends have some texture. They just look really, really cool and modern. So, okay, so she has a lace front, temple to temple lace front, and she has a left mono part. You do see those lighter hairs, pretty typical of Beltress and some other brands as well, but you can see that rooting through those lighter hairs, so I don't think it's too bad. And then I've got good coverage, you know, in my ear tabs around the face here. Looks really, really pretty. Oh, and I'll show you the part. I did get her part open. So you can see that mono, but their parts are very tight and, and thin. So, you know, if you want to, you could pluck that part and make it a little wider and stuff like that. So, okay. So measurement wise on her, she has an eight and a half inch layer here on the bang. And that, you know, just slowly gets longer tapers into those other layers, which is really, really pretty. I like the way it just lays around the face. Um, she has on the side, she has the eight, eight and a half inch layer to 14 inch layers. Uh, the back back here is 18 inches, which is where she gets her name, of course. And then the nape is a 10 and a half inch nape, which is a great, like I said, really, really manageable length in my opinion. So, so really, really pretty and easier to deal with as far as the tangles. You know, you're not going all the way down 23 inches <laughs> with your wide tooth comb. You're just going through this 18 inches. So that's really, really easy to run your comb through, you know, throughout the day and keep her from tangling so much. Okay, I will pop her off and we can look at her interior cap construction. All right, so there's that part up close. Lace front. Okay, so. There is that left mono part. She's just got closed lace up here, no permatease whatsoever on this wig. She's got that temple to temple lace front. She has the soft felt ear tabs, lots of hair attached as you can see, which is great for off the face styling, really gives a natural appearance around your face, which I really like. And then she's open wefted all through the cap. She does have an extended nape. I like that too, as you all know. Um, and then she has the pull adjusters. So, and this one being a light color with this bombshell blonde, she has the lighter um, interior cap. These caps also have really, really great stretch. This is fitting me just, just kind of like the other bell tresses that I've described to you all. I, I had to bring her adjusters in just slightly, as you can see, to make the circumference fit. She fits fine on me ear to ear. And then forehead to nape, there's just a little bit of extra cap, which is, you know, nice because that makes her a great you know, option for lots of different head sizes. All right, let's talk about this color, Bombshell Blonde. So Bombshell Blonde is obviously one of their really, really 
light blonde colors. So a uh, very, very pretty color if you'd like a platinum bright white blonde. You know, she is still rooted. The rooting is a just a, a light, uh, you know, golden medium brown. And if you look at my eyebrow color, I hope it's showing in the camera that the rooting is actually lighter than my eyebrows. If it's not showing in the camera in these lights, it will definitely show when we go outside. So you'll be able to see that that rooting is actually quite light, very natural looking. So, okay, so let's get into the description of this color. So I've kind of given it, but <laughs> let's do the full official one. Okay, so Bombshell Blonde is palest blonde blend of satin blonde and white blonde with golden brown and like I said, that's a, a light medium brown, I would say, on um, that uh, rooting. Um, so, so not not dark at all. I think I feel like it's a it's a natural transition, you know, there. So, so very very pretty. That color they describe as satin. Um, I don't know. To me, I would say cream. <laughs> you know, it's very it's creamy looking, um, but definitely I would describe it as being on the cool side. So. You know, these are white blondes, pale blondes, lending themselves to being, you know, a cooler color, so. You're gonna see your rooting, of course, anywhere you separate the hair. You're gonna see it around your face. You're gonna see it on the underside, you know, if you put the hair up, so. So here we are outside it with covered patio light. Showing you this bombshell blonde. There's that lace front. Lace front's really nice. On a part. Okay, so here we are in the sun. So you can see how light that rooting is. See how light that is? It's, you know, definitely a light medium-ish, I don't know, root. Okay, then I'll step back into the shade here. Okay, and there you can still see how light that rooting is. Really pretty. You know, and every time I separate the hair, you can see the rooting there. let's look at styling and all that kind of stuff. One thing I want to point out on this wig, you may have noticed in the intro, I was kind of doing this a little bit. So there are a few little shorter hairs that I believe are probably return hairs whenever they sew, um, you know, do the hand tying. A lot of times there's a little short end on those hairs that gets pulled through. And if it's just a few, then I just grab those and just pull them out. You know, I don't want little hairs that are gonna be tickling my forehead, getting in my eyes, all that kind of stuff, you know. So don't be alarmed about that. If there are more of them, then I would put it on a wig head and I would very carefully, you know, pluck those out. John Renault even has a video um, talking about removing those return hairs um, and they have a method that you know you can use so you can look up that video too for that but I just wanted to point that out if you get this wig and you see that there's some little flyaway hairs you can usually it's just a few and you can just you know pull those out no problem okay so she's super low density so we can easily get her behind the ears glasses sunglasses no big deal you know super easy with her she's very natural looking which I really really love so headband, got to use the leopard. And then I would, of course, pull out these layers and just use those around your face. You know, that looks cute. So really, really cute. And she's really, really pretty. I'll leave those layers out, like half up and half down. She's just super easy. She's so light and airy. I mean, there's not a ton of hair on this wig. She's super low density. So she's really easy to pull up, you know, half half up, half down, which is nice for when you're working and things like that, you know. And then you can get her in a ponytail. You know, fairly low pony, I think I would do on her. And she does have the extended nape, so just mash your nape down. And she looks cute like that. And then you could, you know, style her, um, 
when this review posts, go over to my Instagram because I took some pictures of her styled and I kind of bent, you know, the hair back under, you, you know, it would need some more work than I have the time to do on a video, <laughs> on a wig review, obviously. But I put a big, I put this big uh, flat clip in her and it, it turned out really, really cute. So go over and um, if you go below this video in the info section, there's a link to my Instagram and my Facebook page. And I post just still pictures of the wigs of those whenever I post my reviews. So, so really, really cute. So she's very versatile. There's lots of fun stuff that you can do with her. You know, you can style her, easily style her off the face. That's one thing that's nice about having an eight and a half inch bang. You know, you don't have those little tiny short hairs that you have to deal with. You can just, you know, pull this back, put it in a little clip, and then if you're at the office or whatever, you know, help keep it off your face. So, so she's really, really cute, really, really pretty. I'm, I'm happy with her. I think she's just an adorable little style. So, so I want to thank Pinky Promise for sending this wig to review for you all today. There will be purchase information below this video where you can purchase her from Pinky Promise. And until next time, take care of yourselves and don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye!